Last week, we had the cup finals of the five new hat-trick countries. Let's see who was crowned king. The cup is one of the two major trophies in every country. But due to the fact that in the new countries, all the managers starting from the fourth division, thus making the champion of the country irrelevant and the cup winner the sole holder of a major trophy this season. I'll leave timestamps in the description below, so if you are very impatient and want to skip ahead to check the winners, go ahead. Also, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell on. I'm Uncle Mish and this time I'll be reviewing the cup finals of the five new countries. Let's go! In Comoro, the Dutch boy wonder was facing the French Rondlon, but what turned to be the most one-sided final of all the new countries, we had Redler boys destroying 7-1, Fana 88. Both teams going for a midfield-oriented formation, but Redler boys still taking midfield control. They received much more chances than they deserved, 11-2, but still they deserved more chances. Still, eventually, Redler took the well-deserved victory, crowning the Dutchman as king. Curacao had one of the closest cup finals, while the Polish manager Lucas and his team Zypher were facing the Colombian Don Roni and his Hamunaptra. Both teams going for a midfield-oriented formation. Zypher took midfield control, but unfortunately got only four chances to the five of Hamunaptra. Zypher also man-marked the striker of Hamunaptra, really damaging their uh, attack ratings, but still that wasn't good enough. Hamunaptra, using their better defense attack ratio, scored twice and conceded only one goal from Zypher, while crowning the Colombian Don Roni as king in Curacao. Surfing Kakanats of the Austrian manager Tree of Pain and Marizo Pirates of the German manager Private Paula did everything to entertain the crowd in the final of Guam, producing 10 goals in the game. The Kakanats playing a very all-or-nothing formation with midfield and attack ratings but having no defense at all, while the Pirates going for a more solid formation producing nice uh, midfield ratings accomplished by defense and attack. Unfortunately for them, chance distribution really favored the coconuts, although they didn't have that much of a big midfield uh, difference. So, the coconuts received 10 chances, of which they scored 6. The Pirates scored a perfect 4 out of 4, but it was just not good enough, giving the cup and the trophy to the Austrian manager and hopefully some medicine for his pain. In Sao Tome and Principe, Kenway Pirates of the Taiwanese manager Eduardo Kenway played against Palmeiras of the Brazilian manager Lucio Winner, both producing very nice ratings playing a 3-5-2 formation and while Palmeiras tried to play pressing against the slightly favorite ratings of the Pirates, chance distribution did decide the game, going 6-1 in favor of the Pirates, of which they scored twice, giving the first major trophy of Sao Tome and Principe to the Taiwanese manager. The best overall ratings of all finals came from Sri Lanka, where the Italian manager Los Gambelons and his team Cylon played against the Spanish manager Los Ninos and his Colombo. Both teams using a 3-5-2 formation and with men marking still having very high midfield ratings and also some defense and attack. Eventually, the game was won by Team Colombo, having slightly better ratings, scoring the final goal 9 minutes to go to take the big trophy. But some consolation still went into the Italian's way when his second team won the Ruby Cup in Comoro. First of all, I really want to congratulate the five new kings and then ask you a question. How far did you go in your cup run this season? Please write it down in the comment section. My new team lost the third round of the Sao Tome Cup, while the second team lost the seventh round of the main cup and the first team is still playing in the Consolation Cup. But I'm really curious to hear about your road. If you are still watching the video, I really want to give you a thumbs up. And if you liked it, you could do the same thing. And just remember, hat-trick is more than a game, it's a community. And I'll definitely 
See you around.